Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie Podcast. How good is that? Welcome to the podcast. Thank you. Um, a bit of a reveal on the podcast today. Uh, Kate, there's been a running joke between the two of us for probably... The joke is so good it's lasted over a year. That's how good. But it's evolved and it's changed. But I think well, it, not really. It's the same old joke. Yeah, but if you change the like item... if you listen to the show. <laughs> mm-hmm, but you just hear sort of body shaming about me. No, oh, they are sorry. not jokes. No, and we're not, not doing oh, not that jokes. anymore. jokes. Um, let's yeah, move on from that. That's for real. Um, <laughs> it's just, no one's laughing, yeah, mate. Don't, don't mix it with direct feedback. Um, so this game has been very funny and there's been some great laughs, but unfortunately I think it's taken a bit of a turn um, and I don't know if it can continue anymore in the way it has been. You'll find out what the joke is during the podcast. This is the Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie podcast. This time yesterday, Fitz, we were talking about the lack of hand washing that goes on after somebody's gone to the old toy toy. Um, A study had revealed that 25% of people, so one in four, would not wash their hands after going to the toilet. Not to mention just the amount of germs that float around and how many people have been to the toilet, not washed their hands and then opened the door using the same handle that you are using. Well, I had a bit of a trigger point this week because I've been crook and it said that this RSV is quite contagious. So Mm. they said you need to wash your hands all the time so no one else in the house gets it. So I've been freaking out. Yep. That the other, the kids are going to wake up, or BJ wakes up with it. So I have been furiously, yep, just scrubbing. Oh, just rubbing it together. I know. I saw you wiping your hands on Tommy's chair at his desk at yeah, work. Yeah, I, I was hoping to dry to, your hands. Tommy would get it at some stage. <laughs> thank you. So, uh, thanks for sh- thank you for sharing. Sharing, yeah. yeah, the gift that keeps on giving. Um, then I read this morning this article saying the unexpected gadgets that are teeming with gems. So they're talking about the tech. gems or germs. <laughs> what did I say, gems? Today? Where can I buy some? Yeah, yeah. some of them have got <laughs> hidden diamonds on the back of them. <laughs> germs. Uh, this is interesting because it goes on to say that yes, we understand toilets, but then it says the dirtiest devices of all are your headphones, your laptop, your computer mouse, your keyboard, and your phone. Could be harboring thousands of colonies of bacteria. How it then you- says out of all of them, headphones are the worst. What? It says 1,073 colonies of bacteria thrive in warm, damp environments around your ears. Oh, is that, are Yuck. they worse than your fingers well, and your hands? I mean, what's coming out of your ears? Nothing's actually coming out of your ears, is it? You only get things out of your ears when you put something in to get it out. Isn't that yeah. right? Nothing falls out of your ear. No. Does and it? ears, you nah. know, it's, it's funny, isn't it? Because you don't really get to have a good look at your ears. No. No one's really ever had a good look at the back of their, ear, their ears. I don't even know what that looks well, like. Well, you're meant to wash behind your ears. I think you can get a bit of dead skin build up behind your ears. That's one thing. I've never done that. I'm just checking with my in, in-house resident nurse, Tom. That's where you must scrub. You're told that as a child to wash yeah. behind your ears. But I guess with, the, with people using... AirPods and things now inside yeah. your ears mm-hmm. is pretty like you know that's that's Have gross. A look at this. Some laptops, meanwhile, hold twice as many bacteria as a public bin and are home to more mold than any other piece of tech. So if you want your mold right, uh, just work out on somebody's laptop. How's this? BJ, how's BJ found a pair of AirPods at the gym the other day? Oh no! Did the, did the right thing and said. How's this? She went in and said, look, I found a pair of AirPods. Do you want to just ha- hand them here just in case someone... And there was a young kid who mm. just could not be stuffed and said, oh, no, nah, that's too hard because we don't, we can't claim if anyone actually mm. owns them. So she, the, the, the young girl said, well, why don't you just take them? So BJ took them home. I said, that, that's <sighs> a good get. Oof. I put them up. Yuck. And they were full of earwax. Mate, I... And I said, you've just got to do the hard yards on that. I'll clean it for you. But oh, my you've God. Just got to, no, 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 you no, got to no, get no. them off. You don't Once even you sterilise them, it's bang. You but, are on. No, BJ needs to pull back on the recycled gear, man. I mean, if she's serving up cricket boxes from the kids from an op shop <laughs> and she's dragging home de- dirty earbuds from a gym... Pull back, you, and you wonder a- why you've got RSV. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you going to blame it on? <laughs> Who brought it into the house? This is the Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie podcast. Kate, we need to have a bit of a chat. Um, I think I have 
stuffed up. About what? Life. <laughs> Or just, yeah. I've just been having a look at the past 45 years and I yeah, think I... I don't know. <laughs> I think I failed. I think yeah. I'm quite sure. I don't know who Failure is a very important part yeah. of the journey, Doing though. a lot of time in front of the mirror at the moment. Just Have we got time to do this now? Having a good look at myself. Um, a while ago, there's been a bit of a running joke in the office, um, which started um, maybe at the start of the year when somebody sent in a 12-pack of some protection, um, if you remember that game. That wasn't this year, that was last year. Oh, okay, so the game's gone on longer than I thought. And the idea was that you would place that in someone's bag and then they would find it at a strange time later down the track and you never Or maybe their kids might even pull it out of the bag. Can happen. (laughs) Great results. Um, And it was funny because, you you know, you'd go home and I'd go to get my laptop out and hang on a minute, something stuck. And that was the the twelve pack. Um, oh, funny. Now the evolution of the game. I, I think they even travelled to I, Darwin with us. <laughs> you never know when they're going to pop up. That's Which is very thing. hard to explain when you're packing your luggage and yes. you're saying, "Honey, I'm going away with the team." <laughs> well, it's a pretty basic joke. How, how do you have an evolution of a game like that? I mean, what, what, it's what, what so more can basic. You do? No, no, it's so is. basic, but it's funny. I mean, it's as good as the eggs joke. Yeah, it is. I the think, idea. I think the cavemen were doing it back in the day, to be honest with you. And I'm glad, and they would be proud to know that we've continued the game. So what's The happened? evolution of the game has been, um, I went and had a mouth guard fitted, and a win, when you do the mouth guard... You're playing football. You know, it's got a grind. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Got a, 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 got a grinder. So I got a grinder for, for when I'm in bed. And what you do... Is, grinder? Yeah. You use grinder in yes. bed. So I've got a grinder now um, to stop Can me you wearing get away two my profiles. T- <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> so anyway, burn a, a count, have you? There's a, a mould of my teeth had to be made to make the mouth guard. How awful! So the mould of the teeth is just like a plastic. It's actually a three D printed plastic thing. It looks like looks a, expensive. Yeah, it looks like a fake set of teeth. It looks like a denture, doesn't it? It's yes. anyway, solid, though. It doesn't move. doesn't move. Bought it in. Thought it would be funny to put it in brought your handbag. It in. You yeah. brought it in. Yeah. Forget the R. Hmm. <laughs> anyway, um, now for the past couple of weeks, the <laughs> denture has gone back and forth between you and I. I forgot oh, about it. It's the dentures yeah, now. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's the now the dentures, which is easier to explain <laughs> what, to the yeah. family. What an, evo- what an evolution. Yeah, it gets because funnier. It's, <laughs> it's funnier because you go, why is there a set of teeth in your bag? <laughs> It's just weird, isn't it? Lol. And I went once again. The reveal came to me the other day when you <laughs> had put it in my in my backpack, and then I went to get my laptop out, and I couldn't because it was stuck on something. And then I went, "Oh, she's got me a beauty." Yeah. Hey, kids, have a look at this, Richie Stitchy. I do get nervous reaching down mm. into your backpack, though. Yeah, I do. <laughs> then I then I wanted to get you back, and so I decided. Look out. Um, and this is where I'm in. slightly concerned. You're going to love this. You love a stitch up fix. I slipped the denture into the bag of silks that you had that you gave to the king. Oh, did you? Now, I thought you would find them. And when you had them out in the studio showing everybody, I did a lot of. Oh, my God, show me the silks again. You oh did. You were yeah. really interested. Show, and I thought, show me the I'm thinking joke Here's reveal. A weirdo. Here's the joke reveal. And this is going to be the moment. This camera's here in the studio. It's going to be funny. She's going to see the dentures and go, oh, you got me, you little mongrel. Yeah, then I forgot delicious. about it. And then you went. And I took the ham part. To the royal greeting. <laughs> so were the dentures and you still wrote in a the beautiful, silks? And then you wrote a card From Kate, to the king. Kate, Richie and May. Yeah. So he's going to get the silks, the king. He's going to look in the bag. He's not going to know what to do. He's got he's got squat and poof. He's got silks, and he's got like a little. You didn't put well, lucky. You didn't put the other things in. I guess. Oh, here's what I'm telling you. You're never going to meet the king again. Aren't I? Once he's, once he's Aren't seen. Aren't I, Whipper? Once he's seen the hamper that you've given him. And he looks in there and he's in, in the bedroom with Camilla and they're just unpacking the gifts of the day. Oh, darling, someone's <laughs> teeth have fallen out into my 
bag of silks. Who sent them? He, I'll be on the security list. He ain't coming back from that, man. No, he's not. Oh, <laughs> if, you want, if you want to stitch up. God, you know what? <laughs> Talk good, 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 about you. funny <laughs> punks, guys. Punks. Oh, hey, hey, Ashton Kutcher. Hey, <laughs> hey, King. You got got, King. You got got. <laughs> oh, it's a bit of candid camera, isn't it? Oh, man. So you'll never get where's, me back, Richard. Where's Jackie? Oh, I when I find out who stitched me up, <laughs> oh, when I get home, I'll kill him when I get home. <laughs> who dumped me in? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> How many minutes did we waste on you telling That's that That's a great story. story. <laughs> this is the Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie Podcast. Gee, we've had a lot of movie chat this week, haven't we? Yeah, it's deserved it. Terrifier 3, is it? Or Terrifying 3? Terrifier 3. Or you will be terrified and vomit in the... In the cinema. In the cinema. Three people spewed, two passed out. Maybe you'll be going to see that next weekend. We've had Kate Winslet on the show. Um, So I want to continue the movie chat. Can I throw in a quick one? Yeah. Next week, premiere of Gladiator 2. (gasps) Is it called Gladiator 2 or just Gladiator? Gladiator. Because a lot of people who are going to go and see Gladiator don't know that there was a first one made. Of course they do. Oh, Tom, can I, you go out of your way and Fitz, maybe you jump on this too? Yeah. Get Russell Crowe. Oh. I don't. I can't watch it. What I, do you and mean? I got, oh, I got a message from Russell the other night saying, don't go. Mate. No, you didn't. So what, he's trying to talk people out of it? No, you I, have to go and see it because, no, oh, be, I mean. He'd love it. What's his name? Paul, Paul Mescal. Yeah, you've got him on next week. Mescal. Mescal. Yeah. Paul, Paul yeah, Mescal. The... Hello, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Fitzy and I will sit this one out. No, he's always oh, lovely. He's professional. It could, could be my yeah. son, for goodness sake. Mm-hmm. Um, Still wouldn't stop you. <laughs> stop you having a crack. Right up my alley. Um, what? No, that's disgusting, guys. Is it? Uh, Kate, yes, it on. is. Apparently, Please. speaking of movies, <laughs> now I've lost my Kate's pain. in the Coliseum. <laughs> Kate's the next fighter to wrestle know, Paul in the Coliseum. Oh, no. She's dressed as a tiger. Up to the Coliseum. Oh, mm-hmm. God. Uh, Husband um, of a murdered son. Just stop. Harassed actor. The very gladiator, I think, oh. once uh, Kate's finished. Oh, very uh, good, Tom. Mm-hmm. Best one. <laughs> and pleasure. Okay. What am I talking about? Okay. If you go to movies and you cry, yeah. apparently... You are closer to death than the rest of us. Oh, give me a Disgust. Break. What they're saying is if that you tend to be a person who will cry in the movies, um, those behaviours are associated with neuroticism. Uh, it's a new study that have found that those that personality trait increases the chances of premature death by about 10%. So if you cry in movies, maybe you also interpret ordinary situations as threatening or uh, a surrounding... Wife. Fear, um, re- rejection, and all of those kind of things. So you have more sadness. Now, I disagree because I actually think that going to a movie and having a really good cry, even if it's not a movie about what's going on in like your life. Dumb and dumber. Yeah, dumb and dumber. <laughs> Sometimes you'll cry, you'll sit there and cry and think, I can't believe they got the money to fund <laughs> you this. the love guru? Yeah. <laughs> but it's the release of emotion. So in actual fact, getting those poisons out of your body, surely that's going to increase health rather I than agree. deplete it. The same as a sauna, you reckon? Well, no, it's, it's, nothing it's like every, a sauna. It's every... Every director's goal to hit that emotional nerve in your body and make you cry. Make and you feel are, something. There are moments, and this is why, and Kate, when we had Kate Winslet on, I mean, how many times can Kate Winslet make you cry? She's one of those actors that mm. just, ah, oh, she can just, in a scene, take it to the next level. Yeah. She, I, I was listening to a podcast. I've fallen into a, a Kate yeah, Winslet rab- rabbit hole. Um, I listened to a podcast yesterday, and the host actually said what I feel is that every film you've seen Kate Winslet in, you never see her as the actor. I mean, you might go, oh, there's Kate Winslet. Oh, I'm getting my money's worth. Yep. But you just see the person she's playing. Yeah. You don't feel as though it's an actor playing the a ultimate, role. I ultimate don't compliment. think. compliment. Oh, amazing. Anyway, Paul Mescal. Go on, back to Paul. <laughs> no, I'm joking. You still I'm joking. want to wrestle with him? No, you? go and have a really big cry. It's really good for you. Okay. I encourage it. The Fitzy and Ripper with Kate Ritchie Podcast. Kate Ritchie. Yeah, yeah. Queen. Queen. Got a great, a great 
few ra- got, a, got a gay game for you. I've got a oh, gate. Okay. And you know what the worst what thing is? What kind of gate did you get? In my head, I was mm-hmm. thinking just mm-hmm. get straight into it today, Kate, and then I mucked it up, and now I'm now I'm explaining and talking uh, through it. Not the first thing you mucked up on the show today, mate. <laughs> stay out of it. If you muck up Theme Queen for me because I completely destroyed your story earlier, good attention we need to in re- the studio. It's going to be a meeting after the show. I've, I've got, got a feeling. I've, I've got over it. No, you haven't. <laughs> Welcome to round 30 of Theme Queen. I am your host. Someone, Kate Winslet, would have never kicked off that door. Oh, now I get it. Okay. Sorry. Should have read it. Yep. I'm your host. Someone, Kate Winslet, would have never kicked off that door. The bearer of gifts to the king who leaves him wanting more. Wow. Kate Ritchie. Love that. Well door, said. more. Titanic reference. Just brilliant. Not well said, Fitzy, but thank you. The game's really simple. Three rounds. Each round, three songs. They're all connected by a theme. Let's get into round number one. Song number one. <laughs> Whippers' favourite artist. Is that oh, no, I thought, I thought it was CeeLo Green. It did sound like CeeLo no. Green straight up. It's Sam Smith. What am I talking about? Sam Smith. Song number two. You're simply the best. Yes, you are. Tina. Come on, song number three. Meant to be easy. They guys. all performed. No. For the NRL. No. 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 They. They. They've. They've both got the same letter. Of their first Thanks, and last name. No, oh, you're on fire. Um, oh. Alliteration. I was thinking when I heard Tina Turner. I'm thinking, has Sam Smith done an NRL promotion? <laughs> I was trying to work. Yeah. Okay. I wrote down sure Tina. Have. I wrote down Tina Arena. That's why I didn't make the connection. <laughs> oh, and no. you've made that mistake live I made on air that before. that awful mistake when I announced Tina Arena had died, but she had it was a, Tina Turner. She she's live and well, and her name is Pina. Pina actually. Arena. Pina Arena. Why Tina then? <laughs> because Johnny Young told her that if they called her Pina on YTT, of yeah. course, back then she was going to come up against it, and everyone would have teased her. And they said to her mum and dad in the office one day, "Hey, hey, Pina, why don't we call you Tina?" Bang. <laughs> that is amazing. That's and she story. commented on your dress actually with the quite Kate Winslet um, interview Ooh. that we did the other day. Oh, she did. Yes. Yeah. Thank she, you, Pina. She Follows me closely if you're listening, Tina. I love Tina. I'm a bit of a fan. Round number two, song number one. Who's this again? Little Mix. Great song. Shout out to my eggs. To To your eggs. Scrambled. Um, Why is that so? <laughs> there, there, I, there should be. We we've done that for years. That joke. There should, Have you? A, an egg oh, company you know should been... get on board with the little mix. Oh, Shout out to my eggs. This is so great. Okay, little mix. Oh, no, sorry. I just wanted. That was fantastic. <laughs> Generous um, crowd. Song number two. So the Who's that? Great song. Fat Larry's band. Never heard the song. Never heard Great the band. Song. Either have I, but let's not get bogged okay. down in that. Can I, Got can it. I, what's the name of it? Doesn't matter what the name yeah. of the song is. Well, Fat I guess Larry's it's pretty band. obvious, isn't it? Fat, is it? Do we start? Just listen again. And it's not Chase the Day Away. So, so, soon the Chase the Day. What is it? Zoom. Chase the day away. Nothing to do with eggs. Completely off key. Song number three. Kesha. What's that song called? They're all. Okay. Oh, TikTok. (laughs) (laughs) Don't roll your eyes, mate. What's shout out to my ex? What's the name you of the song? You just heard it. You just yeah, said but, it. Yeah, but I know, but what's, what's the app? You've got Zoom and TikTok. And what's you have? It? You have X, which is Twitter. Oh. And you're mad with Twitter. <laughs> That's your app, Fitz. Okay. This is going to be a that tricky really one for clever. you guys. <laughs> Thank you, Jess. Love Round it. number three, song number one. Stevie. Yep. Isn't she lovely? Song number two. Fly me to the moon. Let me Who's play. Who's that? 
Frank. Well, that's Frank Sinatra. A lot of people have covered it, though. Hope you're listening. Is that Fly Me to the Moon? Yes, it is. And song number three. Asha. No. The other, the, the Neo. Oh, Neo. What's the name of that song? So Sick. Is it to do with the song name? No, it's to do with the fact that all of these songs are, I mean, very incredibly popular songs. So people like to do their version of them. Um, we we actually fl- we actually fl- flew to the moon last week. No, we played we played "Fly Me to the Moon" last week. Yeah, because somebody in particular one artist has covered all the songs. No, but somebody in particular who was in the news for very tragic reasons did did cover that song last week. Do you want to have a listen to that? One Direction sort a cover of all of them. The moon, let me play among that is the Liam Payne, and you are gotcha. correct. Bang. <laughs> Well, not only did they cover them, but they they were their audition songs for Ah, The X Factor. Do you want to have a listen to Harry doing Stevie Wonder? Love to. Isn't she lovely? Harry! Isn't she wonderful? Yeah, that got him over the line. Who, and guess who did Neo? Neo. Oh, who, who's picked So Sick by Neo? <laughs> Neo. Answering machine. That's Neo. Nice. Is that Neo? And because yeah. right now it says that we can't come to the phone. And I know it makes no sense. Because you walked out the door. Simon liked it, obviously. But it's the only way I hear your voice anymore. Ooh. Did you like that round? I loved well? that round. Yeah, it had me thinking. I feel like I'm underperforming lately. I'm so sorry about that. No, you're not at all. No, I, feel I mean, like don't I'm not... you and Fitz need to have a little meeting after the show? Fitz isn't happy with the game. No, he wants to do movies. I like that Fitz yeah. and I are working together almost. I as know one it's first team. time in 14 years. You know what I mean? To try and work out what the answers are. You know? Well done, Kate Richie. This is the Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Richie podcast. The King and the Queen have officially left uh, Australia. They're currently in Samoa. Um, worked their bums off down under, didn't they? Absolutely worked them. Yeah, they, they shook a few hands and waved to a few people. And how did they um, not get RSV, but you did? I know, it's crazy. Um, have they got something, though? This is well. the thing. Um, I didn't know this, though. Um, yesterday, before they left, um, I don't know where this is, but they were next to... There was a final public appearance right next to... Mm. A resort, one global resort. Okay. It was a luxe location where couples, romantic couples go. And uh, funny enough, there were a few romantic couples in the resort at the time. Okay. Because they were there filming the new season of Maths. And there was a moment where she walked into the scene and there was a guy he hadn't seen the girl he was going to marry and Camilla turned up. So you've got what? you've got Camilla outside the resort sort of shaking hands, waving to people mm-hmm. and then you've got some units up in the balconies yeah. of the One Global Resort who are trying to get her attention because they're awesome. not getting any attention from their partner on the, on the season of maths. <sighs> She, I'd, it would, I'd it slide would her into ama- that. It would be an amazing turn of events if you could have a couple swap and Camilla gets involved. Wouldn't it? Or even if you add, you know how they give the or the the partner the photos that they have to put in order from hottest to the worst? <laughs> and Camilla just slides into that. <laughs> oh, we got can an I extra. Add, can I add something to that list? Mm-hmm. Come on in, Camilla. You, you had a couple of ex-girlfriends called Camilla, don't you? Is that, a, is that a hard name to bring up? Completely irrelevant. You had two Camillas. You've gone out with two Camillas. Yeah. I mean, it's a name. <laughs> <laughs> it's got nothing to do with the royal family. Didn't you, call, didn't you call them Camilla number one and Camilla number two? Disrespectful. And I won't oh hear my... a word about it. Oh my I won't gosh. hear a word of I, that. Actually, have you guys heard hmm? about the latest filming of MAFs? Apparently three couples have already quit and one groom fled the state. That's that's why they got Camilla involved. (laughs) Guys, we're a man down who can step up. She's doing everything else. There was one guy, Elliot Donovan, was paired up um, 
with Lauren Hall, right? Mm. She walks down the aisle. He goes, oh, how are you? By the next morning, Elliot had left his hotel room <laughs> and he had left the state. Just to say, <laughs> do you know what? You were talking about that guy that's caught up in the bikey wars fits. They've tried to take his life three times and he still won't leave the city. He won't do it. Get him on maths. Get him to do two episodes of maths and he will run. That is not bad. That's how we need to clear people that's out of this town. only way you'll get oh. rid of Oh, my God. This is the Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie podcast. The US election continues. Uh, the campaign continues. How to long have on. we got? Like, it's quite soon, isn't it? It's a few weeks away. When they it? vote? They start of November. No, I think um, so. So they're in Detroit at the moment. Detroit seems to be focused on quite a bit. And we know that Donald, well, Donald Trump said this about Detroit the other day. The whole country is going to be like... You want to know the truth? It'll be like Detroit. Our whole country will end up being like Detroit if she's your president. The unfortunate thing was he was talking to people from Detroit at the <laughs> time. That. Where am I again? <laughs> oh, Detroit. Does he really not know where he is? No. Do they just shuffle people off? I don't think he cares. Put them on a dolly and wheel them out to the next event? I don't think he cares. Kamala Harris, Kamala Harris, sorry, um, has been, she's been campaigning in Detroit and brought out a very special guest. It was Eminem. Um, we know how big Eminem is in Detroit. It's where he's from. Actually, he spoke quite a few times on his hatred for Donald Trump. He said have a listen, actually this is a good point because he is from the lower class of Detroit Eminem and he says this about Donald Trump. Watching him play to his base that thinks that he cares about them and it's actually the people that he cares about the least. If you're talking about his core being you know a majority white middle class What I don't understand is how do you feel like you relate to a billionaire who has never known struggle his entire life? Whoa. I will say this. He talks a good one. Please stand up. Wow, I've never heard that. Kamala Harris comes to Detroit. Eminem arrives. Have a listen to this reaction. This is what he had to say. I think Vice President Harris supports a future for this country where these freedoms and many others will be protected and upheld. And here to tell you much more about that, President Barack Obama. So then the place goes absolutely crazy. Barack Obama comes out, who is a rock star in himself, really. Yeah. And the, 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 it takes around about two or three minutes for the place to settle down because everyone is going crazy. And then Barack Obama, following Eminem, starts doing this. You know, I, I have done a lot of rallies. So I don't usually get nervous. But I was feeling some kind of way following Eminem. And I notice my palms are sweating, knees weak, arms are heavy. Vomit on my sweater already. <laughs> Mom's spaghetti. I'm nervous, but on the surface I look calm and ready to drop bombs when I keep on forgetting. <laughs> That is amazing. He's actually upstaged Eminem in Detroit. It's not a bad effort. With a bit of Eminem, like to perform in front of the artist themselves. How great. This is the Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie podcast. Do your family treat you better when you are sick? You give me fever. You give me RSV, yeah. Do you know what? I mean, it's... Mine don't care. I get a bit of harden up. It's a tough time of year, this one, because you're going into the last term with the kids. It's a lot getting around. You know that every weekend is being taken up, you know, with people that you need to catch up with, and there's a lot going on at this time of year. So at home, it's stressful, right? Yeah. Hey, just on diseases as well, because I've been crooked this week. Mm. I spoke about this about Whipper at the start of the show. Did you hear that we've had our first case of stir- a scurvy, <laughs> Kate, since the convict era? Aye, aye. Where? In Australia? Yeah, there's an old bloke over in WA who went in and he had a bit of a rash, painful rash. Scurvy. Uh, and the doctors have come back and tested him and said, mate, you've, well, God, I, I didn't think we had scurvy in this country anymore, but you've got it. How long has he had it for? Well, they, 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 they think it might be because of the cost of living. Some elderly people oh. are skipping meals and can't afford nutritional supplements. Oh, they're eating so badly. 
You need an orange, don't you? You need you've an got orange. Scurvy. Vitamin Is C. Is that right? Yeah. We've always made fun of scurvy on the show. We might have to stop it's now. Not funny anymore. Oh, got it. Yeah, Polio whole, will be whole coming things back. Not hurt. What? It? Polio. Oh uh, yeah. Oh I got RSV God. this week. I don't even know Are you know okay? What RSV. Are you I've, okay? I've driven a Holden RSV before, but mm. I've never had RSV. Mm, and sure. So um, it's up there with influenza A, B and COVID, right? It's oh. respiratory. Oh, I don't God. know. This is I've a story of survival. <laughs> Congratulations. I'm a tough nut. I tough, and I push through this kind of stuff. You guys know me, and that's what you love about me. Hmm? Um, yeah, we but <laughs> haven't heard a single thing about it. Are you so, saying that your family love you more? So yesterday, I was I couldn't get out of bed. I was holed up in bed. Lenny comes home from school. And Lenny and I, we've been clashing a bit lately, okay. you know what I mean? Just over politics, he's in the front time into sort of Carmel Harris and stuff like that. Yeah, he's a big Trump guy. <laughs> he's a massive Trump fan. Um, so and you're letting him live there. <laughs> Lenny comes home from school and he walks into my bedroom, Kate, mm. and he is so concerned for Dad. And I haven't seen oh. my son like this for a long time. Oh. So, Dad, are you okay? And then, you know, he's speaking so eloquently to me and so soft. His voice was so soft and it's it's like my son was back. No, he wants the iPad. Oh, Kate, you've just given away. (laughs) Did he? You've ruined his story. I was, I was I mean, going to build this whole story up. Yep, and you've stripped him. <laughs> you've, you've ripped him at the last minute. I am so oh, sorry. Do you know what? He's I, been crafting I, I wrote, this. I wrote up a full page of stuff, the conversation. Oh, oh, okay, oh, just pretend because some people just got in the car and they wouldn't have heard what I said. I was making a joke because if May is nice to me, yeah. I know she wants the iPad. And if you just heard me say iPad, then ignore that ignore I said that. iPad. Stop saying it, do Jess. It, can we do it like a record scratch and we'll pick it up for <laughs> All right, this is, this is what radio is all about, everyone. I'm Live. So, I can't tell you how sorry I Live am. That is the in, worst thing uh, to do. Three, two, one, and action. No, no, we, we, we had a great conversation, and it was about, I was asking him about school, about he's just started yeah. cricket. He even opened up about his girlfriend. Mm-hmm. Oh, girlfriend. And I was, what did I he was say? Like, we were sitting there for 15 minutes having a conversation, and he was looking into my eyes, and I was like, oh, my gosh, I've got my son back. Yeah. And it was unbelievable. And then he just, from behind his back, he revealed his iPad and said, Dave, can you put my passcode in, please? Oh, he oh, did he, no no way. he did He had no. an iPad. <laughs> it was behind his back no way. for 15 minutes. The whole time getting sweaty in oh. his hands. <sighs> and then said, Dave, can you put my passcode in, please? Oh, my gosh. Kate, I'd love you to tell Fitzy stories this time tomorrow. <laughs> I can't. I'm so... I'm so Do you want to take over <laughs> riddle time as well? I'm but so sorry. What else Actually, no, you know show? what? I'm not and sorry. I'm not sorry. <laughs> Because you always try and make me hurry up a long-winded story, so that's that's a well, Thursday payback. Know, yeah, but I would have got to mine a lot quicker. <laughs> <laughs> Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie is a Nova podcast. For more great shows like this, download the Nova Player via the App Store or Google Play. The Nova Player.